Thank you, Patty. Officers working at a downtown detention facility parking for free. Yeah, while people with disabilities that should be using those spots being forced to fend for themselves. It's a severe lack of consideration for fellow human beings. We uncovered what disability advocates are calling a serious safety issue playing out in the heart of downtown San Antonio. The night team's Dylan Collier interrupts the practice in tonight's Defenders investigation. Spend some time around the Central Texas detention facility and you'll see that metered parking directly in front of it on South Laredo Street is at a premium. Look closer and you'll see those spots are often taken up by the guards who work inside. A full row means no room for other drivers, including those who benefit most from being as close to their destination as possible. Using undercover cameras for three weeks, we watched as guards use disability placards and disabled veteran plates to park here, often all day. <laughs> taking advantage of a city ordinance that allows people driving cars with these placards or plates to park in its lots for free for up to 24 hours at a time. No one exploited the rule more than this woman, Joanne Compa. Her bright yellow Camaro equipped with disabled veteran plates occupied a spot nearly every weekday as she shuttled federal prisoners to and from court. August 29th, Compa traveled off site and left her Camaro behind, taking up a spot while she wasn't even at work. At the same time, people with physical disabilities were relegated to more distant parking spots. Joanne? Compa now admits the plates Joanne, don't belong to her. These are your husbands? Yes, sir. Okay, you're using them to park for up to 10 hours at a time in a metered spot for free. Is that fair? Well, I mean, my husband is disabled. But you're not. Well, this is his vehicle. I think it's sad. Melanie Cawthon, executive director of local nonprofit Disability SA, says accessible parking is not about convenience. It protects them from being hit by another vehicle, from having a heart attack because they're not supposed to walk far, or even just the exhaustion of um, having a physical or mobility disability. Something apparently not taken into account by guard Mario Castillo. His Camaro, with its Camario vanity plates and disability placard, was also a common sight in the metered row. Courtesy-wise, there's no reason for him to take up an accessible parking spot. Camario? Dylan with KSAT 12. Castillo confirming to us that the placard belongs to his mother-in-law, who at no point during our investigation was ever seen with him. If she had to park further away because of people like you, do you think that's a fair situation? You know, a fair situation? No, I don't think so. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. Good luck. For the defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. We reached out to the GEO group, which runs the facility where these employees work. A spokesman told us by email, quote, our company believes that parking laws and regulations should be observed and complied with. The parking spaces in question are public and are not within our company's control or monitoring, end quote.